last episode, but you didn't direct the first episode. Did you? So did you direct that intro that was in the first? No, episode? that was Tim Hunter. Um, so the, the 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 fight sequence was that was completely Tim Hunter who did the first two episodes of this season. So yeah, I I, I inherited that material. In fact. What I will say um, proudly is actually there were four directors who had their fingers on the final episode. Okay. Um, Tim, Tim had a bit of that fight. Uh, I shot everything around that fight. I shot Lawrence is walking in, everything up to the moment they start. Um, and we have an amazing uh, second unit director called Chris Byrne, who shot a couple of sequences. Um, second unit is a thing in television that happens a lot where you just you don't have time, so yeah. go. And, you know, you don't have time, so if there's a way for someone to go back and do a better version of the food or whatever it is, then I'm, I'm all for that. And actually, I think Michael Reimer did a shot. There was, I think Michael he did, did it. He did uh, one of um, Caroline coming out of the window. Yeah, so, the Car so when Carolina falls out of the window, I shot two or three of the angles, and then Michael, because originally it was going to come in, we were going to see a piece of it earlier in the season, in the series, so I, I used a couple of his shots that we digitally put together with other backgrounds and stuff. So, four directors on the finale. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But you know that whole thing about the auteur it doesn't work in television. Yeah. No, the auteur it's, is Brian Fuller. Brian is the auteur, <laughs> but, you know, it's a team effort yes. all across the board, and we're all very, very proud of it. Yeah. Martha, you've had the rights for men since for men to take on board. How did you, did you approach Brian or did Brian approach you about this? Well, it was it was very fortunate. I had just made the deal with Gilmont Television to be my partner. And the head of Gilmont, Katie O'Connell, was going to New York, boarded a plane. Brian was on that plane. They were longtime friends since she was at NBC. And she said, you know, we just made a deal to do Hannibal's TV series. What do you think? She goes, oh. All right, go, they go sit down, and at the end of the flight, they get off, and he comes up and he says, I know exactly what you have to do. So she heard it, you know, the, the thumbnail pitch. They came to see me, and it's exactly what I would have hoped to have found. You know, because it's really, when I talked to Thomas that I was thinking about doing it, he said to me, he says, I don't know anybody who could write it. I don't think anyone in Hollywood could write it. You know, he was, he was sincere, because it's, you know, you to tally that, you know, the two of our graphs, and, and um, and, it, and it's a real tough one because it is it is off the reservation in the beginning. It's not the books that he had written. So he said, how can someone create something that, you know, I'm not creative? So what Brian was so smart in doing was taking the canon of the movies as well as the literature and, 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 the, and being that, you know, you just mashing it up and... And, and, doing, and, and doing a beautiful job in, in crafting a storyline and a bromance and relationships and taking the characters that were established already by Thomas. And what things it's always there in the scripts too. And what I love about what Brian does is he it's like a parallel universe version. It's like a parallel world in Hannibal where all of the storylines, I love the way he weaves, takes a little bit from this book, a little and bit the dialogue. Book, You'll but a see lot of the dialogue. All the, all the books. Coming out of somebody else's but then there's the Brian Fuller of it all, which is a whole other emotional and uh, symbolic and uh, lyrical side of it, and operatic as well, which if we didn't have Brian, which we wouldn't have that. They mentioned you'll be back to shoot an episode for the commit? next season. Did you commit? I, I, had, I had lunch with Carol. I said, come on, I, of course I will commit. Um, do you have four. eyes on episode four? Episode four is the one Brian would like me to do, and I trust Brian's instinct, so I would be very happy to come back and do it. Awesome episode. That's what I hear. Yeah. 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 Well, that's the one, and we've already said it before, but Lady Murasaki comes into play. So that's where we go from Ooh, being Lady Murasaki. Yes, I, yes. I, I, yes. Well, I heard yes. that for the first time on the panel. I was like, because yes. <laughs> yes. I, because Brian's given me the, you know, he told me the story, the main story, all. Uh -huh. Sure, not as much as you know, but and then he kind of pitched me the episode four that I didn't know about that element. <laughs> Lady Mirasaki, is she actually going to be a character or is it just going to be a series of flashbacks? I mean, no. No, she's, a, she's living. Oh, no, she's a character. Okay. No, she's an awesome character. Yes. And, that, and that's what's fun with playing with, with all the books and the material is, you know, juxtaposing it. You're still true to the storytelling of Thomas. 
Yeah. But yeah, it, 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 it's enticing for an audience to follow, to kind of you know, find out what we've done with the material, how we crafted a thriller, a suspense, a psychological drama. I think Michael Pitt was a really good testament to you know, how that whole world can come. You know, I mean, the, the performance in, in, in Hannibal was astonishing, but this is something, it's not better, it's not what, it's so different. I remember, I remember when they were shooting this scene with the dragon. I heard, you know, I was preparing another, I was preparing the finale, and everybody was talking about that night shoot that went on and on and on. And that night, no, 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 on no, the battery, but just like how amazing Michael had been in that night. So I snuck online, I looked at the dailies from that, from the, you know, always the dailies that in the, in the prosthetic, that was amazing, you know. But the, the, the point being, I guess, that Brian, you know, Brian Fuller seems to be an amazing magnet, which I credit him for getting great actors to come in. And it's the great material that you know that I read that in the pilot, incredibly lyrical, beautiful words. Yes, absolutely, I want to go and do this. And the actors respond to that too. So to me, it's great to, I can't wait to see who our lady exactly is. And I, I know that we'll be able to populate with amazing actors. We have so many amazing ones now that we can, I think we can keep on going with them. It's hard, like trying to balance all these big characters. Cause you say we've still got Mason Verger, and then you've got Hannibal, and then I'm guessing it's Buffalo Bill going to come along soon. Oh yes, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah? Well, no, 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 that, no that's 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 the other side of the line. Up, yeah. But we do have Francis Dolan. Yeah. So we'll go yeah. into the, you know, and it's very important to us that we have great guest guest stars. Yeah. And that's where we draw our partnerships with NBC and Sony AX and and uh, Sky Living to, you know, it, we have a budget, but yet to get you know certain names, you need more, and they're producing for it, which is great. That supports the, that supports the show. We also do a lot of moving our schedule around. And no. Which is kind of, can be crazy for people and he was directing it. I'm, the, the, the scene on the airplane at the end of the finale was shot. Michael was it, Reimer shot that. The, Michael the, Reimer shot her on the plane. No, no, I shot that. I shot that. Michael shot the interrogation sequence that happened before. I was sitting there at the end. I had 45 minutes to shoot the, the plane sequence. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but what was happening though, the, the larger story, yeah, yeah, Mike, so Jillian, you know, we really wanted to do it, but we couldn't make it work, and she had a layover in, a, in Toronto, so she got off the plane, came to the studio, she worked for about four or five hours, Michael shot all of this, the, Michael Reimer shot all of that interrogation stuff, and then you know, like 45 minutes at the end, I shot the scene on the plane at the very, very end, and then she ran and got on the plane again. And that's also something that, you know, we'll do that if we have to, you know, because that what's, if, to me, if whatever you can do to bring the actors to the table, the really good actors to the table, just do that thing. Yeah. And is Gillian going to become one of the main cast? Because at the moment, she's kind of... Her, you know, her role, she's got to be the smartest one in the room, because it's very important as, as, you know, we haven't really told her story, but she has to be smarter, almost smarter than Hannibal. You mentioned partnering with NBC and dealing with them a lot. Um, because the show is so intense and can be so rapid for the network show especially, is there anything that NBC has pushed back and said, no, don't do No butt cracks. No, that's it. No butt cracks. No no well, actually, no, the, the, reality, the reality is we could have the butt crack, but we had to fill it with blood. So it doesn't look like a butt crack. <laughs> but uh, no, we've survived very well, actually, pushing the board. Tone it down lightwise, you know, make it darker, the blood, you know, less red, and don't stay on it, you know, don't just keep it in the face. Which is a part of the design anyway. Exactly, the show. Yeah. yeah. But it is part of the story. I mean, you know, they, you're, you're not going to not say it's a panel, but just don't be late. You know, in the face. <laughs> we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.